everybody and welcome to another episode of In The Mix. I'm Jonah Gancharfris. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have a great show lined up for you this evening. Coming up, we introduce you to weaver Mark Beneventi, who learned the craft from his grandmother, master weaver Tan Elena Beneventi. A little bit later, we get a recap from Summer of Sounds taking over Shamrocks in Tumon last week. And we close up the show with the music of a talented duo, Trips and Russo Mac. But first, the community was rocked last week with the untimely passing of Albert Piolo. He was a husband, a father, a son, a brother, friend, police officer, musician, and more. And while many knew that Bertie was an officer with the Guam Police Department for over 15 years, not many knew of his passion for music. So tonight, we tell you a little bit about how Bertie was spreading good vibes through music. Here's more. I am just one of many grieving my friend, Bert Piolo. I had hoped that in doing this piece, it would help with the healing process, but it did so much more. It opened my eyes to just how much Bertie was loved, especially in the music community. For Shiave Pangalinen, he got news of Bert's passing while in California. He recalls when he first met Bert in the summer of 2012. It was while playing for Soul Vibes. I didn't know who I was because he was like freaking out. Oh, who's this new kid, right? And then, you know, he went up to me. Hey, man, my name is uh, Bert, bro. Dude, solid jamming, bro. I was like, oh, man, no way, man. You know, I, I don't know the songs. He said, no, but just you're doing a great job, man. It sounds good, you know. And then um, when I would play with Bert, you know, we're always just looking at each other, you know, and I'm playing and he's doing his thing, you know. We're always laughing, having a good time, you know what I mean? According to Pangolinan, when he didn't have transportation for gigs, it was Bert to the rescue. Bert would literally pick me up from my house with the drums and drive me to the gig. And we were gigging three times a week. Sean Wolford says a gig opportunity was how he met Bert. He had called Wolford up asking if he could drum for Soul Vibes. I drummed for them for one gig, then after that, he just kept calling me. And we kind of connected and... Um, I told him about my band, and of course he's heard of Say Tune, so every chance he got to come and see us, he would make it out to our gigs. Bertie was not your typical musician, meaning he played simply to play, and was always eager to improve. He's the one of the few guys I've, I've known, like, does not want the money. He wants to play, have a great time, and play music. That's, that's Bertie. Dennis Nakamoto, former lead singer of Soul Vibes, agrees. He was a positive role model for what? us professional, professional musicians should be like, um, you know, it wasn't, it, it wasn't a job to him, it was a love. Former drummer for Soul Vibes, Brad Drake. Just his eagerness um, and determination to learn, you know, he was always that guy that, um, that left his glass half full, you know, there was always room to learn. Drake first met Bertie back in 2010 and says he has learned a lot from his friend kind of made me see um, things in, a, in the music world in, in a fresh perspective again, you know, from when I was green in the ears, you know, um, when I first started, that's how it was for me, you know, and it, it kind of brought me back to that, to that love of it. Last Sunday, the remaining members of Soul Vibes took the stage, and for those who were present, it was an emotional moment. Unfortunately, some unfortunate events happen for our friend Bernie. Uh, if you guys feel like uh, coming up and uh, cheers his wine, you're more than welcome. On Saturday, family, friends, and those blessed to have met him will bid adios. With many still having difficulty accepting he's gone, many reflect on what they've learned from Bert. The one thing that I can say that I learned from Bert, a lot of times, I mean, I know I'm still young, but a lot of times we forget it's about music. And playing with Bert, always reminded me about, it was about the music. You know, because Bert said, you know, because I, I, I think they held down Beach Bar for almost three, three and a half years, right? And Bert said, man, Par, this is, this is my, my uh, what do you call that? My getaway, playing music. And I learned that from him, you know? No matter if the gig was slow, not even anybody showed up, whether it rained or we just had a bad day, that, that gig was like, it was a Sunday, you know, it's supposed to be enjoyable, the sun setting, you know what I mean? Perfect place to be at the beach, have a few drinks, meet friends, and have a good time. Wolford, who left to Washington, holds on to the memory of the last conversation he had with him. 
we had a good 10 minute conversation. He's like, are you, are you sure you want to leave Guam? Is this what you want to do? Because he goes, I, I, I've known you playing music everywhere here on Guam and aren't you going to miss it? You know, people are going to miss you. Are you sure this is what you want to do? And he said, just be careful out there and, you know, call me and if you need anything and, you know, I love you. And that was it. On Sunday, a tribute concert will be held at the Beach Bar in Bert's honor. I'd like to invite everybody to come down to a beach bar this Sunday and, you know, come jam with us. It's gonna be, uh, everybody's going to be there. And let's just uh, do this tribute for Bert, you know. And if, uh, even if, uh, you know, we don't know you or, you know, and you know Bert, come on down and come join us. If you want to sing, you want to jam, you know, all our friends and everybody in the musicians are going to be there. So come on down and enjoy this uh, Sunday with Soul Vibes and have some good vibes. It's not a memorial. It's not a period of mourning. It's a... It's a celebration. We lost a good brother. And we want to celebrate what he's done for us. And speaking of Good Vibes, Good Vibes Guam was a brand that Birdie had started earlier this year, stating that it was about that feeling you get, doing what you enjoy the most, such as playing your favorite instrument, singing and laughing, hanging out with your friends, and sharing memories. It was a brand that truly represented who Birdie was. He wouldn't want us to, to cry. He wouldn't want us to, to be sad. You know, he 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 would want he would want us to do what we gotta do. You know, move forward and you know, really just re, you know, just he would probably just say, "Dude, I just hope people remember me." Prayers and condolences go out to the entire Piolo family and all his close friends, most especially his wife Mika and their four children. We'll be back with Mark Beneventi when In the Mix returns. <laughs> 